This is the third video in a series where I show you how to prepare the site for your customers, how to create a dashboard, and so on. In the first video, I showed you how to create a custom admin dashboard, like the one you see right now. These are the shortcuts, these are the tutorial videos, this is a contact us video. In another video, I showed how to create a knowledge base base for your customers, the tutorials and the live search and with a table of contents and nice navigation here. So if you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video because there are the links to the videos I created before. Today I'm going to show you how to create a site admin user role for your customer and how to remove some menu items from the left here. And it works in a way that if the customer logs in, then the most menu items you would not like him or her to access are hidden. And if the customer opens up the front page, then there are only those menu items up here you want to show. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only 5 to 10 minutes to accomplish that. So first thing I need to do, I need to create a user role for my customer. And I want the role capabilities to be the similar to the administrator ones. Why I'm creating another user role? It's because I'm going to hide the menus for the specific user role. It's going to be a bit easier to accomplish than hide those for specific users. Now I have two options how to accomplish that. I'm going to show you both of them. First, use plugin. Go to plugins, add new and search for members. Install and activate this one here. Members, membership and user role editor plugin. Now go to members, roles and either click on add new and set your capabilities or search for administrator clone it give it a name for example new admin you can edit the capabilities here for example appearance i'm not gonna allow to delete teams edit install switch or update teams i can do that and if everything is done, just add role. And now I can go and deactivate the plugin. Plugins and deactivate. All the role capabilities are there. If you go under the users, site admin, and there is a new admin user role. Another option to add the user role with administrator capabilities is without the plugin. Just open up your child team's functions PHP file and add this code snippet I'm going to show you inside it. I don't like modifying the functions PHP file, therefore I'm using the code snippets plugin which allows me to use all sorts of code snippets. And that means if I'm going to change the team, all those snippets are there, they are not lost. So I'm going to open up code snippets, add new, give it a title, for example, site admin user role. And now paste this small snippet here. Now take a look at the description of this video because there is a link to the site where are all the snippets I'm using in this video. So if you're interested in the snippets then follow this link in the description. What will it do? It will tell that take the administrator role, clone it and give it the name site admin. If you want it to be something else then rename this one here, this one here and this one here. Save changes and activate. And now I can deactivate it because the user role is added. Now I'm going to create the user so we could test it out. There is a site admin here. Instead of su subscriber, I'm going to give this user a site admin user role and update. Now I'm logged in as a site admin, as you see. All the menu items that are visible for the administrator are here. So I'm going to customize it and I'm going to remove those menu items. Once again, you have two options. One option is to use a plugin. So go to plugins and add new and search for admin menu editor. This one here. Install and activate it. It's a rather popular plugin. plugin. If you activate it, then under the settings, there is a menu editor menu. But the issue is that in order to have the role based menu permissions, you need to upgrade to the pro version or if you would like to hide items from the specific users. 
if that is not important for you then go under the settings and set up your rules but if you hide something then pay attention that those menu items here are hidden for everybody therefore I'm gonna use another option that means I'm gonna go to the plugins deactivate this one instead I'm gonna open up the snippets add new give it the title for example hide menus based on user roles and now I'm gonna paste this code here let's go through the code and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to manipulate it so what do this function says if the user role is site admin if you need to change it then change this part here and pay attention that this is site admin like written like this one here not that one here if the user role is site admin then remove dashboard default menus and so on i have commented everything for you out so if you want to remove this dashboard then leave it on if you want to remove the update menu then leave it on if you don't want to remove it then comment it out like this once again we're gonna remove comments plugins tools users posts we're not gonna remove pages media pages appearance or settings if i want to remove appearance i just uncomment it but appearance menu has sub menus widgets and menus therefore i'm not gonna remove it i'm just gonna remove some sub menus later so only run in administration area save changes and activate and let's see what happened this is before now i refresh it this is after as you see settings has only ger general and permalinks appearance has only widgets and menus there are marketing analytics products woocommerce pages media knowledge base and posts here if i want to remove the general settings i just uncomment it here are the appearance sub menus i i did not hide the widgets or menus but i hide the team selections or team editor also i hide the customizer since i don't want the user to mess up the appearance itself also i have a cadence blocks plugin installed i deactivated that one how to do that i'm going to show you i just delete this one here save it and let's see what happened so settings and cadence blocks make a right click copy the link go to the right place and let's remove it once again just paste this one here now copy this one above paste it here and now just copy this last part of the url paste it here and remove that one it will remove the sub menu under the settings page now if i save it and once again refresh the site admin panel there is no cadence blocks i have also a couple of plugins installed one of those are fluent forms in order to remove this one here i'm gonna show you how to do that i'm gonna comment it save it refresh it and there it is fluent forms just once again copy the link get back to the right place paste it here copy the example put it here take the last part of the url and paste it here save it refresh it and it's gone but let's imagine that i would like to remove just uh, the global settings submenu under the fluent forms i want the main menu to be visible but the global settings need to be hidden therefore i'm gonna grab a sample remove submenu page go here change this part we need to take it from here it's fluent forms and 
grab this link here, paste it here. Now delete this part and leave only the last part here. Now let's save it. And if I refresh this page here, it's gone. I'm using the Bloxy team here and Bloxy team has a nice extension and it's a content blocks extension. It allows us to add contents using the hooks in a visual way. We can use page builders or Gothenburg for it. But it's under the Bloxy. There, are, there is an account here and the Bloxy here. I want only the content blocks menu to be visible. Therefore, I'm going to remove Bloxy submenus in a way I showed it before. And now if I refresh this page here, then there is only content blocks. If I want to remove all the menus, then just once again remove menu page, grab the last part of the URL and there it is. Now there is a one issue though. We hide the customizer, but if the customer goes on the front page, there is a customizer here. We need to remove this one and I don't like the WordPress about menu here. There is no point for the customers to get access to it. Therefore, go and add new snippet. Give it the title, for example, remove admin bar items and paste this code here. Once again, if the user is site admin, remove updates, comments, logo and customizer. You can also remove the site name, my account search and the new co content adding option. Run snippet everywhere, save changes and activate. Now let's go back here, refresh it. There is no WordPress logo or customizer. Refresh the backend and there it is. Same goes here. Now I'm going to log out and I'm going to show you how to do all that for the specific user. For example, Let's go back to the snippets. I'm going to open up the snippet we created and let's take a look at the users here. We have a user called customer with the administrator user role. Let's hide all those things for this user. Therefore, I'm going to comment this one out and uncomment this part here. And here goes the username, whether it's customer, or demo memo or manager or whatever it is. Here goes the username. For the user, we would like to hide all those parts. Let's save it. And now I'm going to log in. And as you see, all those menus are gone. So as you saw, it's not as difficult as one may think to accomplish all that. Just a couple of minutes of copying and pasting. And in an easy way, you can remove the menu items here. Now if you find this tutorial helpful then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Also before you go take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now because it's also full of useful content. Meanwhile take care.